everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at unrooting our Pixel 3 or even downgrading it using the Google Factory images. Now figured out, we'll just head right into it by downloading a few things. And the first thing you need to do is download the latest version of the SDK platform tools. Now this is just a package that contains programs such as ADB and Fastboot that we'll use to communicate between our phone and our computer. So we're going to download the one for Windows here. Agree with the terms and conditions and click on the blue download button. I'm going to save everything into one folder just to make sure it's all neat and tidy. And the next thing we want to download is the factory image that we'll be using to flash our Pixel 3. So on the right hand side, you may need to agree with some terms and conditions here first if this is the first time you're doing this. Uh, but head over to the right hand side here and we can click on Pixel 3 and our code name is Blue Line. And here you can choose any factory image you want to go to. For example, I talked about downgrading earlier. If you want to go back to Pi, you can do that just here. Download the Pi factory image that you want to use. So click on one of these. Maybe you want to go back to Android 10, that is fine as well. Or maybe you just want to flash maybe just the latest version of Android that was available for you. So in this case, I've actually chosen to download the January 2021 update, but you can choose any factory image that you want to flash. Here we go. So I've downloaded the two files here and this is all we'll pretty much need for the rest of the video. So why don't we get started by opening up the platform tools here and we'll need to extract the platform tools folder inside the zip file, outside into our Android folder where everything else is. Give that a few seconds, right? And the next thing you want to open up is the blue line factory image that you've downloaded. Inside will be another folder, open that up and inside here we'll have a few files. So why don't we extract the bootloader, the image zip file and the radio image, those three files outside. Today we'll be using the command prompt to type up the commands to do this manually rather than using the flash all script, but you can definitely use those as well. But this will be a more thorough way of returning our phone back to stock or even downgrading it. Without further ado, let's head back over to our device because we will need to reboot it back into the bootloader mode. Now, before we proceed, by the end of this video, your phone will be wiped and we'll also take a look at relocking the bootloader so that everything passes, such as safety net and other checks and balances that Google has implemented. So you will lose all data on this device as we proceed. So make sure you back up anything that you need. And once you're ready to go, all you have to do is reboot our phone into the bootloader. And to do that, I'm going to leave my phone plugged in. I'm going to tap on restart. And when the phone turns black or it freezes, I want you to hold the volume down button. Okay, I'm going to hold it now and we'll just keep holding it until it boots into the bootloader. Alrighty, so that took a few seconds, but now we're in fast boot mode, which is good. Now we're going to go ahead and start flashing all the files that we need to do. So to do that, why don't we open up the platform tools folder on our computer here. And this is where you'll see ADB and fast boot and a lot of other programs. I want you to come up to the address bar up here and type in CMD. This is a quick shortcut to load up the command prompt window uh, with the directory already changed to where the platform tools is located. This is an order so we can use the programs like ADB and Fastboot right off the bat like that. Alrighty, so I've just positioned our files side by side, our command prompt and our platform tools folder. We no longer need to look at this folder, so let's go back to the Android folder. You can go back one folder just to wherever we have everything else laying around. And I think the first thing we want to type in here, just to make sure our device is detected in the bootloader, is fastboot devices. And hit enter. There we go. So you can see that our device here has been detected in fastboot, which is good. Now the first thing we're going to do is flash the bootloader and radio images to both the slots. Because currently we're on slot B right now, as you can see down in the bootloader. Yours might be different, but by the end of it, we'll end up on slot A. So let's type in fastboot, double dash, slot equals all and then the word flash, and then bootloader. Leave a space after bootloader and drag in the bootloader image and hit enter. Now if you are unable to drag and drop the image onto the command prompt just like that, you can actually hold shift and right click on the file that you need and then you'll have a new option called copy as path. If you click on that, I'll try that with the radio image and you can actually right click and paste the location of the file. Once the bootloader has been flashed, we need to reboot our phone into the bootloader so it can take effect. So let's type in fastboot reboot bootloader and hit enter. There we are. Okay, now device is back in the bootloader. Let's flash the new radio image. So let's type in fastboot, double dash slot equals all, flash radio, and I'm going to do this new right click, shift right click, copy as path trick here, and just right click and hit enter. Of course, you can just drag and drop if you're able to do that. Great, so it looks like our radio image has finished flashing. So let's reboot our phone back into the bootloader once more so it can take effect. 
So let's press the up arrow key twice on our keyboard to go back to one of our previous commands and we can hit enter there. Saves us from some typing. And now our device is back in the bootloader. And all we have to do now is flash the image zip file that we extracted earlier to both slots. And we're going to start with slot B. So let's type in fastboot double dash slot equals B. And then we're going to type another double dash, skip dash reboot, leave a space after that, type in the word update, and then drag in our image zip file over in. Now for some reason I can't do that anymore. So what I'm going to do is right click on the image zip file and select to copy as path. I'm going to paste that in by right clicking and just press enter. Now it should start extracting everything. It'll set our current slot to B and then it'll flash a few images and reboot our phone into user land fastboot. Then from there, it'll flash the system and a few other files. So we'll just wait for this to finish up. And then we'll go over and flash the same thing to slot A. Alrighty, so this has finished flashing. Let's reboot our phone back into the bootloader by typing in fastboot reboot bootloader. And we're going to run the same command, but except we're going to target slot A instead. So now that we're in the bootloader, we can press on the up arrow key twice. And just go back to where we wrote slot equals B. We're going to change B to A, and then we're going to hit enter. And this will flash everything that we just flashed to slot A. Alrighty, so we're finished flashing the factory image here. Now we're going to wipe our device just to make sure our phone can boot up normally, and just so we can check that everything still works. And this is especially important if you're choosing to downgrade, because your phone probably won't boot up unless you do uh, wipe the data. So why don't we do that on our phone? We're going to head into the recovery mode, and from there we can format our device. So let's get out of this fast boot mode here. We're going to go down to enter recovery. And then from there we're going to Go down to wipe data and factory reset. And then it'll let us know that this cannot be undone. And we're going to factory reset here. And we're going to let it format the data and also wipe our Titan M security chip. Now you can see that it had one line of error there. Can't send SPI message. Try again. I think that'll be fine. So let's reboot our system now. And we should see ourselves booting into Android with everything ready for us to set up. Okay, that was pretty quick, and we're booted up, and we're at the setup screen, which means we did a pretty good job. I will quickly breeze through this, just so you can actually double check um, that everything else is working, like telephone calls, your camera, and that nothing is going to start crashing once you set it all up. So I'm just going to go through this, I'm going to skip a lot of it, because when we relock the bootloader, our phone will be wiped again anyways, so no point for us to set up too much stuff. It's looking pretty good, and it looks like everything seems to work just fine. So what we're going to do now, our final step is to relock the bootloader. Now keep in mind this is completely optional. Uh, you don't have to relock the bootloader, but it is required if you want to pass safety net without doing anything else. So I'm going to turn this phone back to stock fully, and that means relocking the bootloader as well. So why don't we go ahead and do that by rebooting our phone back into the bootloader. Going to restart here. Hold the volume down button until we get into the bootloader. All right, so and all we have to do now is to issue this one command. Let's type in fastboot, flashing, lock. Hit enter, and you can see the screen on our phone changes to a warning message telling us that we'll be relocking the bootloader and this will cause a wipe. And what we're going to do is use the volume button to change the message to say lock the bootloader and then press the power button to confirm. And from there, our phone should reboot back into the bootloader, if not Android, and it will wipe itself once more. And we should see that padlock disappear as well. There we go, our phone's back into the bootloader, and you can see the device state is now locked, just as we like it. And I'm going to hit start here, and let our phone boot up into Android. And there we have it, our device is booted up, ready for us to set up once again. So thanks for watching guys, and this is how you can unroot your phone and even downgrade to different Android versions, and of course finally relocking the bootloader, which of course is optional again, but I chose to show you guys how to do that for this. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave it down below in the comments, or better yet, join us over on Discord where we chat about all things technology, and of course you can definitely find some help there whenever you need it, which is always nice. So thanks for watching guys, and as always, happy flashing.